Central September Technical Outlook. I'm Rémi Gossens, Head of Technical Analysis, and with our analyst team, over the next 10 minutes, we are going to review a one month technical scenario on key assets. Connected with us, we have uh, Gary Christie from North America Research Desk in Ottawa, Canada. Hello, Gary. Hello, everyone. Hello, Rémi. We also have Nicolas Suffi, Head of uh, European Research based in Paris, France. Hello, Nicolas. Hi, Rémi. Hi, everyone. We also have uh, Christophe Chevalier, FX specialist, uh, also based in, uh, in France. Hello, uh, Christophe. Uh, with them, we will detail our one month scenario on, uh, on relevant assets. We think that we'll have uh, some uh, interesting movement in the coming weeks. Uh, the, the key topics for this month are definitely uh, around the, the Brexit uh, and the, the, the decisions that are expected around this topic. We also see a bullish momentum in place on crude oil following the fall in inventories and the Saudi Arabia being comfortable with the uh, whole prices above the $80. And we will uh, also have a review of uh, the uh, US equity market, uh, which is also key for, for the current trend. So let's start with the US equity market with uh, Gary in uh, North America. Gary. Thank you, Remy. We'll move over to my section here now. So I'm just going to share my screen with everybody. And there we go. So looking at the SPX today, we got a shot right now of the S&P 500, and we just broke to record highs this morning as we started this call. So we did break above that 29.16 level. That was looking at our uh, August 29th high. And now we are tracing towards our main target of 29.71.75 which corresponds to the top of this resistance trend line area where this is kind of forming a topping or a, a rising wedge pattern. That's usually a sign of a market top. However, we're not quite confirming it yet. It's just something to be, you know, it's just something to consider in your analysis that we are shaping to a top pattern, but a breakdown below this rising trend line support would be a warning sign, also a break below that 20 day moving average. So right now on the SAP SPX, our stop loss remains at 28.60 and with extensions targets 29.40 and 29.71.75. Um, and really, we got some good support on relative strength. We got four points now. We're, we're maintaining above that 50 level I highlighted with the dotted line. Uh, so all, uh, no, all looking good. We've got some further momentum to the upside in the SPX with a great breakout today. Uh, just watch this formation to see if you get a breakdown below it. Uh, but really here, this top should be good support around 28.60 to 28.71. One important thing to note right now, about 66% of stocks in the S&P 500 are trading above their 50-day moving average. Uh, so we've got a lot more room, even though we're making new highs on the SPX. Historically, around the 80 level, 80% 80 level of stocks trading above the 50 days is usually an area where we see some weakness and some pullback in the market. But for now, we look pretty strong, and I'll hand it over to Europe with an update in Europe indices. Thank you, Gary. Let's um, let's talk about Europe a little bit. Let's focus our attention to the UK equity market this week. Uh, a possible rejection of Brexit plan could trigger a second referendum in, uh, in England, so we can expect higher volatility in the, in the coming weeks. Let's uh, see what can happen on the, on the charts. You can see here the daily charts on uh, the, the FTSE, the FTSE 100. Um, so the, um, the price index has landed on a key support threshold around the 70 to 20, as you can see here. Uh, and thanks to the lower uh, shadow candlestick, which happened last week, uh, we can uh, see a technical rebound now and we can expect a continuation of this uh, technical rebound on a very short term perspective. Uh, why? Because also the daily RSI, as you can see here, has landed on its support around 30% and has uh, broken above its uh, moving average, its night period moving average. Yes. So that's why on a very short term basis, a uh, technical pullback can be uh, can be expected towards, as you can see here, the lower end of a former bearish channel uh, and also uh, towards the Fibonacci retracement level, the 382 uh, percent Fibonacci retracement level set around 74 and 35. Um, so that, that, that's what that could happen in a, in a very short term basis on a, a technical rebound towards this key resistance area. 
However, uh, on a more long-term run, we think that the upward could be the upward potential could be limited by this resistance area between 38.2 and 50 uh, percent uh, Fibonacci uh, replacement level. That's why, as long as prices remain below the key resistance around 7502, which is the, the blue line, as you can see here, as long as prices are holding below, uh, remains below this uh, this key resistance, a new down leg, a new down move can be expected to test Fibonacci projection level at 7146 and the uh, psychological level at 7000. So to sum up, a slight recovery can be expected on a very short-term basis, pull back towards the resistance zone 7435-7502, uh, but the, the upper potential should be limited by this res resistance, and we could expect a new down move to see the Fibonacci target at 7146, and in extension, the psychological level at 7000. That's it for uh, Europe for the equity market. Let's uh, let's have a look at the forex market with uh, with Christoph. So on the forex front, uh, we can see that the British pound has, uh, is pushing uh, strongly higher versus the uh, US dollar. On a short-term basis, the pair has broken above the decline 29 placed since uh, May. It has broken uh, above this uh, 29 uh, in early September. It uh, also stands above the 50 days moving average you can see here in blue so further advance is expected on a short term basis above the strong horizontal support at 29.55 which is a previous bottom of july which was then uh, which became then a support following the polarity principle uh, further advance is expected towards the horizontal resistance at 134.50 uh, it's also uh, previous overlap, horizontal resistance and previous overlap. Uh, you can see here in the uh, beginning of May, and uh, which became a resistance in the uh, beginning of June. And if we break above this uh, strong horizontal resistance, a second target is set at uh, last September uh, top, so uh, one year ago, at uh, 136.60. So we remain bullish as we have broken above this. Uh, uh, declining to line above uh, 129.55 with target at 134.50 and 136.60 in extension. So that is all on Forex. We have not switched to uh, commodities with uh, Remy. Thank you, Christophe. So now let's have a look at uh, the current situation happening on uh, on crude oil. Well, we we currently trade uh, within a, a bullish channel that is in place since 2017 bottom, and we we have seen that uh, this uh, channel has been uh, tested several times, both on the upside and on the downside. On a, on a shorter term outlook, we, we have seen a, a consolidation during this summer within uh, a declining channel that has been broken up in uh, late August. We have seen a, a pullback early September, and now prices are definitely set to, uh, to rise towards uh, this year top uh, around 75 and uh, should extend this uh, this rebound toward 78.2, which is a, a Fibonacci projection of uh, the previous uh, up move. I would like to draw your attention on uh, the horizontal channel that is in place on the RSI. You can see that the, there are some uh, obvious supports and resistances on the uh, on the RSI. So there is still room currently with an R a daily RSI, which is around uh, uh, 62 uh, before it uh, it rises to the resistance, which is around 70. So there, there is room for further advance toward the, the, the top of the year and uh, above at 78.2. Only a downside breakout below the, the previous uh, overlap at 66.75, which is also the lower boundary of the bullish channel would uh, turn this outlook to bearish and favor uh, a consolidation to 64.5 and 61.75. Thank you for watching this video and uh, I'll see you uh, next month for another update on the market.